Here's how you control your Philips Hue lights from your Windows PC. So there are three main apps as you can see right here. And these three main apps I will take you through very quickly. Just to show you very, very quickly what it can do and what I recommend in it. Uh, there are also very few other apps on Windows that can control your light in some way that have some kind of Philips Hue implementation. And one of those is Flux. So what Flux does is, you know, it takes out the blue light in your monitor to help you sleep or just help you not stay awake in the evening. So <clears throat> Flux is great and you can go into extras, control Philips Hue lights, and that's very simple and all. Uh, but I want to take you through the main three apps and the first one is Hutro. If you just go to the store, search Hutro, and there it is. It's free, so it's great. It's pretty simple. I like the UI. It's very windows E. UI. Uh, you can turn them on like this, adjust the brightness as you please, and that's pretty much it. You know, it has all these different scenes, which is great. Now you have to buy it to get all the different ambiences, but you do get club for free, which kind of goes disco y with your light, uh, you know, different colors and blinking and shit. Uh, then you have your alarms, geofencing, what that was devices. Geofencing right here, if you want to turn that on, that's mostly for, I, I believe, Windows uh, laptops. So if you have a laptop and it's turned on, that's great. Uh, now, I did find a bug with this one. So if I turned it on, the lights will be extremely dimmed, even though it's on full brightness. So I have to control the brightness and go up again, which does make it hard for me to recommend while the bug is there. I'm not sure if they're going to fix that anytime soon or how long it's actually been there, but that bug is extremely annoying. But it works great, you can turn them on and off. Now, uh, this app is of course free, so I do recommend that if you don't mind it not being that quickly, uh, because you do have to have the app open and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the next one, which is WinHue. Just like Hutro, you have to have this open. Now, as you can see, the UI is really not that great at all. Even though some of the things are simple, I can double click this light to turn on my desktop light. And now the brightness is down. There we go. Uh, it does have a bunch of different scenes. It's very advanced. So if you don't mind that, it's good. And the only reason I think I'd recommend this app is because of the hotkey creator. So you can set a hotkey for turning on your lights, which is great. Really, really great. That's the only reason I recommend this app. Uh, let's move on to the next one, which is the one I recommend the most. It's called Albedo. And the reason I recommend that is because of its simplicity and its ability to run in the taskbar. So as you can see down here in the right hand corner, I am controlling it from the taskbar. So if I click here, it will come up with this screen right here. And we can lights on, all the lights on, lights off, all the lights off. And we can even control the brightness straight from here as well. That is great. And I love this app because it's so goddamn simple and it runs straight in the uh, taskbar down here. So if we can also right click and just do it that simple. Uh, it also has some scenes which you can add some more of if you want right here. And it does have some effects. And one of the great things is ambient mode. So if you turn that on, as you can see, synchronizes the lighting in the room with the content displayed on the primary monitor. So if I'm watching a movie, it will try to match that and make it a bit more, I'm not sure, immersive, I guess. You can also do that for games, which is great. I love that it's having this feature. Um, so Albedo is the one I recommend the most just because of its simplicity to turn lights on and off straight from the taskbar. So Albedo and Hutro are probably the best ones, in my opinion. If you, if you want the more advanced one, go with WinHue and set up a hotkey. That will be great. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a very quick look at the three different ones in the description. A link will be to these three apps if you want to take a look at that. That's it. Thank you for watching.